Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do more missing women and children and men's cases. We are here to break the codes if you see any. We are here to see where their bodies are located if they know. And we also here to see if they are alive to see body suited, change your ethnicity or misidentity. You already should know who's involved. White supremacists, African Americans, and the KKK. So let's begin. This from my podcast. We talking about stack bundles in his homeboy, okay? This how he looks. On June 11, 2007, rising rap star Stack Bundles was shot and killed at her apartment complex. His murder remains unsolved, depending on who you ask. Listen to John Crime North host Candice and Crime North special guest for this week's key, which is so this is the key from Crime in Color and Crime in Color for an in-depth discussion on Stack Bundles' murder. My SoundCloud for this is Crime Nor the Podcast, okay? Now, here's the other article that I found, okay? They both, he told me to pick this one, okay? I've been searching, but he just wanted me to pick this one with his homeboy, Shink, okay? Police say Shink's, C-H-I-N-X-S, murder may be connected to Stack Bondle's murder. They both say yes, they will keep out the same person, okay? As suspected by many people upon the news, police have confirmed that they are investigating the connection between Sheets and Stack Bundle's murders. According to the New York Daily News, the NYPD is looking into any connections to the two tragedies. They were friends, Stack Bundle's and Sheets. They were friends, so we are looking at all hip-hop angles, NYPD, Chief of Detectives Robert Boyd said. Stab bundles were killed in fall Walker Ray 2007 after being shot near his residence. The, sus- the, sus- the suspect in the murder was killed days later. Okay, I'm mean, here. There's a cover up. Police confirmed that no incident took place at Shink's performance hours before his shooting. Yeah, that is a, that is a cover up. And are now considering other motives for, the, for his killing. Right now, we don't have nobody. We don't have anybody not co- cooperating. Boyd said, there is no fight in the club. We got that from numerous sources. Shinks was serving a four-year sentence in prison at the time of Bondo's murder. Bondo's brother, Ronald Omnin, no, told the Daily News that he believed that his brother's murder could be connected to Shinks. They were tight, they were cruel, he said, and I just think if a person commits a crime as harsh as killing, and they think they got away with it, they will surface and do it again. And that's basically it of this article. So if y'all want to hear more into this, y'all can. We don't, I don't, we don't do it for the fame or the money. We do it because this will be love to do. And also to the real family, so both of them, we will get y'all set up. Okay, thank you.